Are you a nurse or are you aspiring to become a nurse and you're curious as to what nurses keep in their bags? Well, you have came to the right place. My name is Raquel and I'll tell you just what we keep in our bags. So if you're curious, go ahead and stick around. Hey you guys, as stated, my name is Raquel. Welcome to my channel. And yes, I have a nursing video. I have so many great updates as far as my nursing career is concerned. But before I get into all of that, I wanted to show you guys what I keep in my nurse bag or my nurse kit. I am now currently a home health nurse and I love it. I love it. There's so many pros to that. So if you guys would like to see a video on the pros and the cons of home health nursing, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. So a little bit about me, I am a licensed practical nurse. I have been a nurse since December, the end of last year of 2018. And I am now beginning my career as a home health nurse. I was previously an office nurse and now I have transitioned to a home health nurse. And again, I'll get into a video about why I transitioned to this position. But basically, I just wanted to do more skilled nursing. So now I'm actually in the homes exercising those skills every single day and I love it you guys nursing is still one of the best decisions I've ever made I have such a fulfillment every single day when I wake up I get excited and I'm ready and I can't wait to see my patients and I'm really excited about what I do so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I have in my kit so I just want to give a huge shout out I don't even know if she's on um, YouTube or if she'll ever see this video but one of my former classmates is the reason why I have the job now. She actually referred me to the company that she works for and she has been training me and shadow and I've been shadowing her and she has looked out from day one. So Miss Sherry, I know I tell you like every day how much I appreciate you so much, but I appreciate you so much. And she actually got this bag for me and she actually put some of the supplies that are in here majority of the supplies that are in here she actually bought for me it's pretty big this reminds me of a toolkit it really really looks like a toolkit so this is what i use as my nursing bag it has these zippers right here so i'm gonna go ahead and open it so when you first open it you'll see my supplies in here it's very important to note that um, especially home health and even when you're in a nursing home or any place you wanted to make sure that you do buy those so she actually gave me a blood pressure cuff so i really appreciated that so i have the blood pressure cuff i have uh the stethoscope and i link the stethoscope below um, it is a cardiologist something or another and i tried it in, on in the store and oh my goodness like i have never been able to hear lung sounds or heart sounds as clear as I did with this particular one. So I would definitely recommend this particular one. I know Litmans are just a great brand in general. They're very heavy duty, but this one especially, it makes a difference. So I have my stethoscope. I have my thermometer right here, again, to get my vitals. And I have my pulse ox just to get the oxygen saturation and my pulse. So those are for the vitals. And most patients have everything that they need in their house, but you definitely want to make sure that you keep a kit in your car just in case you arrive there and they don't have what you need and you're out. So in here, basically these have to do with wound care, extra supplies for wound care. So we have some bandages a bandage roll some abd pads right here some normal saline have a few of those the little bullets and i have some tape again i'll get into details about home health in another video but i always give the patient a call the day before i am scheduled to arrive just to reiterate the time and see if anything has changed with that and also i make sure especially if it's a wound patient specifically making sure that they have um, the list of supplies that they needed now of course some patients might not know the names of different supplies so I'll kind of like give them the name of it and they can double check and see if they have everything that they need just in case but I always have it on hand 
for that reason. Patients probably will already have their own scissors, but this is just in case they don't have them. I have them in my kit. We have some skin prep and alcohol pads. So you always wanna make sure that you wipe down your equipment and supplies after you use them, especially with your vital equipment. So I have these on hand. Your um, company probably will supply these, but I just went out and I went to Walmart and I bought like 400 for, I think $4. So always have these on hand. They're very, very vital to have as well. In this, it has a hidden compartment right here. It zips down and voila. So the big thing in this compartment is the iPad that we use. So we use our iPads for documentation, to look up the patient's information, to find out um, their demographics, their telephone number, their address. Um, I love it and I'm so glad that it's an Apple product because I know how to use the GPS on this. Like my other company used Androids and it took me forever to kind of switch my brain and learn how to use that one. So I love the fact that they have the Apple iPads and we do all of our documentation. Uh, we do all of the, like the assessments on here. This is where we find all of that information and this through the app that they use with my company. So it conveniently can go into a different compartment and it's kind of padded right here um, to give it extra protection, which I like. Also, I have extra gloves, of course, again, for the hundredth time, <laughs> the patient will probably have all of their own equipment, but sometimes I'll go to the patient and they may have gloves, but it doesn't look like they have enough. So I don't ever try to use the last of anybody's stuff. So um, until they get their new shipment, I'll just go ahead and use my own gloves and my own kit. And then if they need to, we'll go ahead and order some for them um, from our office. I have some pins, keep some pins in my pocket. And I also have some extra in my bag. And very, 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 very important, I have some alcohol. And then my father actually um, got me some, a big jar, a refill jar, so I can just refill this little thing. But you can go to the store, of course, and buy just the big refill jars of that, or your company may supply that too, so, so that's something that you should look into. And last but not least, this is just something that I carry around. Um, it's just some peppermint oil. And so somebody told me just to use this just in case you go into a patient's house and it's a wound care and it may not smell the greatest. This is something that you can put just a little bit, like barely dab your pinky finger in there just like that because it's very, very potent. And then you just put it right here at the top of your lip, right under your nose. And it's supposed to mask the smell. The way that I think about it is, I think it's kind of opening up my senses a little bit more, especially with the peppermint. So it just smells how it smells, but just with a little peppermint hint in there. Um, what I might try is, if it gets to the point, if I feel like I might need it, I'll go ahead and just put some um, petroleum jelly on there, Vaseline, <laughs> right here, and then maybe put the peppermint just to see if that masks it a little bit better but I haven't really got to a point where I'm at a patient's house and it's just been such an odor that I couldn't stand it and I need to use this but that's something that you can try too. So what I do is I will take Lysol and I actually saw this from the nurse nook and she works in the hospital and this is what she does too. She'll get some disinfectant spray and she will spray her shoes. Now of course I don't track my shoes and I do not ever walk through the house with shoes on that's just in my opinion disgusting. But I'll go ahead and just spray it with um, disinfectant spray. And um, I get those plastic, you can get them from the dollar store, the Dollar Tree, but they're uh, plastic, I wonder if I have one over here. They're plastic shoe boxes. And there's a plane. So after I spray it, I put it in the plastic shoe boxes and I just let it kind of air out and I make sure to tilt it on its side so it's not like facing like this, that they're both facing kind of to the side to let that kind of air dry that way. But I disinfect my shoes that way and I keep them either at the door. Some people will put them in their garage, but I'm worried about bugs and stuff like that. So I usually keep it by the door in that plastic tub. And also I bring a change of clothes so since I um, go over my parents' house, you know the kids are really excited to see me when they first see me and I never pick up my kids in my clothes. I don't care if I'm doing patient, a wellness checkup with a patient, it's just something about that. I always get myself in a habit to always take off my clothes before I give my kids a hug. And then I just have 
either sweats and a t-shirt or something like that but I never ever pick up my kids and never hug my kids before I take off my clothes I take off my clothes first I put them in a plastic bag and then when I actually get home or sometimes at my parents house I'll put them on a heat cycle so first I'll spray it down with something damp like water or water in downy or something like that and then I put it in the dryer for at least 20 minutes and I could, I'll probably do this and I may never see a cockroach, I may never see a bug, I may never see so much as an ant or a ladybug, but still I get in the habit of every single day putting my clothes in the dryer for at least 20 minutes in hopes that um, if there is any bugs or anything that they get killed off with the high heat. So, and then of course I do the normal, I wash my uniforms and all of that, but between wash days, I always put it into the dryer at least for 20 minutes. That's just what I do. I do carry a canteen with me because I'm driving around and I didn't realize how thirsty I actually get on the road until I don't have my water with me. So I always keep a canteen and mine in particular, I got it from TJ Maxx. I actually did a haul not too long ago about it and I, it's one of the best purchases I've made this year by far. I think it's about 32 ounces and it keeps my water cold for I think 24 hours. It's something like ridiculously long. So I only bought the canteen for $10 and then I have filtered water and I just pour the filtered water in there every day and I have cold water every single day. So I really hope that this video was very, very informative and that you take something with you. If you have any additional questions, feel free to give me those questions in the comments below. And thank you so much for joining me. Give this video a thumbs up. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.